Hey guys, I'm going to introduce you to templates. Templates in Microsoft Word. Now, templates are super cool because they save you time and money. No, not really money. Well, maybe they will. I don't know. Let's see what they do. Uh, so we're going to learn about templates today. And I want to show you what that actually means. Okay, so in Microsoft Word, I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to go to New. New. There it is there new now the first thing that you see here is that there's a blank document that's not going to help us right now then we have a blue gray resume welcome to word okay but if we go down a little bit here here you can see he has a whole bunch of like i'm sure you've seen this before okay and you're like what the heck are all these things and you can see there's all kinds of brochures reports calendars certificates I mean, all of these are different kinds of templates now the day will come when you need to put together a cv a curriculum vitae a resume so i'm gonna just type in the word resume now it's supposed to have that little thing on the e but i know i know but i think word will know what it is excellent and as you can see here we have a couple of templates and i'll show you once i've loaded one let's find a good one let's go with that one and it tells you a little bit about the template and you click on create downloads the template and then loads it into a new Microsoft Word document. So what is a template exactly? A template is basically just a pre-designed layout or theme where you can click and type and put in your information. So instead of you having to redesign or recreate a whole uh, document on your own, you can use a template to do this. And it's actually very, very easy. So let's have a look here. Here you can see we have a resume or a CV a document. And if I just zoom out a little bit there, you can see it's got a couple of um, places where we can just click and type in. So here, first name, surname. So all I do is click and I type in a name. I type in John Smith. That's really original, I know. And then, um, okay, that's not John. But then I can, you know, right click, change picture, from a file and you know what I'm just gonna go to my pictures file and I'm gonna pick the first thing that I see I don't okay there's oh, I don't know I'm looking for John hey Johnny where are you uh, oh there he is haha <laughs> that's I don't know who that is okay but there we go okay never put it oh it's never put a picture like this on your CV okay so here we go uh, have a look down here we have experience dates job title position and you see that all I have to do is just click with my mouse. I just have to click and then I can type in the information. So the template, it's already been designed for me. Everything I need is there. All I need to do is provide the information. Let's have a look and see what other kinds of templates we have. So again, file and new. And, um, oops, sorry, new. And let's go to uh, memo. Now, do you know what a memo is? I know some people say memo. But uh, a memo is like in a business when the boss has to let everyone know something, he will send like an email or um, an, 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 um, some sort of message to everyone. And often it's in the form of what's called a memo because these are official documents and they just tell the, the business, you know, what's going on and what is happening for that day. If there's a meeting coming up, etc. So here's one. And I almost, said, I almost thought I said prison. Prism memo. Create and lewd there we go check it out so here we have a memo we can put the company's logo there the date can go there who is it for who is it from so it's kind of like a a, a message like a an email sort of okay a subject who it's going to type in some text okay and the memo then goes out to the company and everyone knows about the upcoming meeting and what they're going to be talking about or something like that okay as an example so that's what the memo template does. I'm going to close that one. Let's see what else we have. File, new. And let's see. Um, here you can see there are some suggested searches. So we could do uh, education. I don't, even, I don't know what. Let's see what they have for education. Education. Oh, an education brochure. A student report with a photo. Nice. A college newsletter. That's quite cool. Let's have a look at that. So here you can actually create a newsletter just from a template. And basically, guys, this is what templates are all about. It's just a pre-designed layout with areas for you to fill in. What are the advantages of using templates? They save you a lot of time. 
they save you a bit of effort because you don't have to go and create all the materials yourself. All you do is add in the information. Now I know one that they often talk about as well in exams and maybe that'll peter out as things become um, less popular in terms of faxes is the fax template. But again, all you do, I'm gonna cancel that, cancel that. I'm gonna just type in fax, okay. Just so you can see, um, fax letterhead. Often when people send, and this is a very, very basic one here, click on fax, click on create, there we go. And all that this is, if you were going to send a fax, and you, you should know by now what a fax is, okay? We have covered this before in our theory. And uh, here, you just fill in all your information, and it says fax, who it's to, the number. Remember, it's a phone number that gets phoned. You put a little tick where it's, you know, what's important here, give it a little message. And that's a fax cover page, for example. And um, yeah, that is it. Templates, file, new, pick a template. And this is also applicable to Word, sorry, Word, um, Excel, and PowerPoint as well. And PowerPoint as well. Cool, go for it. Blah, blah, blah.